So this is the new solar cooker design that I've been working on here in India. You can see it's boiling water there. It's taken about two hours to get to boiling water, but that's with really kind of a lot of cloud today, unfortunately. So this is the, the new design that I've been working on for the last two months or so here in New Delhi. Uh, I've been working on it in the uh, Baljit Nagar slum. I'm in South Delhi at the moment just to do the, the last sort of testing and finalization. And this is the workshop where I've been working on the solar cooker in the uh, Baljit Nagar slum in New Delhi. Sharing the building with the, uh, the schoolroom they have for the kids. And so you can see like this is the resources that are required to to, uh, to make the cooker, like a rivet gun, a drill, a bit of angle aluminium, a really bad bench, no vice, bare room, like um, yeah, it's pretty pretty basic in terms of the resources and materials that you need. It's quite similar to the solar flower without a tracking system and so the frame is pretty much the same the gearing here for turning it is like a, it's just a, a spring and a bike, bike sprocket so you can see that's acting as a worm drive there the trough is new design using just printing plates aluminium offset printing plates so it's way lighter than the previous version which used plywood and bits of wood and strut and stuff. It's more precise, it's cheaper, it's um, easier to make. It's kind of a similar process as my wind turbine design, which you can, I haven't tutorialized the solar cooker yet, but um, if you sort of combine the solar flower tutorial with the wind turbine tutorial, it's, that's pretty much how this is made. Unfortunately, the plates that I got were a bit sort of scuffed up and not amazing quality so as a reflective surface they weren't good enough they boiled water but it took a lot longer so instead i've used aluminium tape just like roofing tape cladding tape uh, over it which works quite well and it's kind of a bit ridiculous putting aluminium on a, on top of a different type of aluminium but it works this is not very optimized at the moment these bottles as cladding around the pipe are sort of okay but not very good I'm probably going to have to go with, well, I'm probably going to want to go with like a thermosiphon action rather than just a single collector pipe that I've got going here. The reflective surface is not very clean, like it's kind of filthy. To find a way of, a good way of keeping that clean um, just with water just kind of makes things worse. The pot's quite well insulated with polyethylene foam wrap because um, it's not receiving heat directly. You can just wrap it in whatever you want and that keeps heating quite well. That only cools down by about 10 degrees an hour. Yeah, so that's that's it. I mean, I can this all of this here cost about 1,500 rupees, which is about 25 dollars US. And in like a Western country, it would probably cost about twice as much as that. But you know, that's still not very much. It's just printing plates. Mo uh, about half the cost is in the copper and fittings. I had to get it uh, raised, like gas welded, and, which is the, the only sort of like high tech thing involved. Everything else is just pop rivets and a drill, basically. And the rest is just wood and, and nuts and bolts. I'll be tutorializing this and posting like the, the schematic and templates and stuff um, probably around start of next year when I get back to Europe but for now this one's going to be going back to Baljit Nagar to be given to a family there for them to test over the month or two that I'm going to be up north in the hills and so they'll be beta testing it to seeing what the ergonomics of the thing are how it goes in reality using it to cook rice and dal that's the, that's the difference between this and like a little box solar oven is that this will quite happily boil water so you can you can use it for other kinds of cooking rather than just uh, slow cooking and yeah it'll hopefully boil water in less than two hours once it's been optimized a bit and on a decent sunny day like this is really the worst day I could be trying to um, get this on but I'm running out of time here.